All right, hello and welcome. So today we are going to be revisiting Mesa, who, for those who are not aware, is my favorite Warframe. So with that, not a ton has changed on Mesa, but what has changed is the game around her, which is why some important changes were made to her build. Uh, first and foremost, let's just go over a lot of your basic power stuff and why it's there. Uh, a ton of duration. This is so that my two and my three last as long as like, I can get them to last, basically. Uh, with that, the negative ability range from this needs to be patched up with Stretch and Cunning Drift. And the reason for that is because you want the AoE of your two to be pretty respectable so it can defend you from melee enemies. And in addition to that, this affects the reticle of your four, which is very important to have that at a manageable size, let's say. Uh, beyond that, max efficiency is being used because your 4 is like the most expensive ability in the entire game and you want to be using it as much as you possibly can. Um, to go with your 4, Transient Fortitude, this is being used for a number of reasons. To increase the damage bonus you get from your 2, to hit your DR cap on your 3, uh, and to increase the general power of your 4. All very, very important things. I definitely wouldn't swap Transient Fortitude out for like anything else. Uh, and then the important changes that were made are I'm using Quick Thinking along with Prime Flow now. So Quick Thinking is being used because a lot more explosives have been added to the game. And explosives are kind of the main threat that Mesa faces. So her 3 will give her 95% damage reduction with this build. But it is only to projectile attacks, which means that it does not protect you from explosions or melee. Uh, her 2 pretty much handles melee enemies and you're usually not going to get meleeed. But... Explosions have become a problem, and this is going to allow you to pretty easily survive those up into even like very high levels, such as the 150s that we're going to be fighting in the test today. So that's very important, uh, and it is worth noting, just for funsies, uh, if you want to calculate the EHP that this build on Mesa has to projectile attacks, which does make it, which of course is only when her 3 is being counted, uh, she actually has about 38k uh, EHP. Which, for those who watched the Anaros video, that's about two entire Anaros worth of EHP. So she's very hard to kill whenever her defenses are in play. Um, with that, I'm using Arcane Energize to kind of patch up some of the uh, energy hungriness that she can have. Uh, along with that, of course, it is a benefit to be at max energy for the purposes of using Quick Thinking and Prime Flow to stay alive. Uh, and in addition to that, there are kind of two choices for her other Arcane that are very, very good. That being Arcane Velocity, this is going to increase the DPS of your four by a very significant amount in that more fire rate is more damage. And the other option is Aegis. So Aegis is incredibly good on any Warframe that has DR that can affect shields. Uh, and with Mesa, this is going to give you about 1200 EHP per second that it is active. But, as we just went over, the build that I'm using generally has 38k EHP, which is more than enough to survive any real encounter. And at encounters that are a, a high enough level where that EHP is needed, you would actually need the damage output from Velocity more. So, in general, while Aegis is incredible for Mesa, I'm going to say that Velocity is probably the best at current. With that, uh, obviously I'm using also Kuroi's Projection. This is because fuck armor. Like, you know, general Warframe things. Kuroi's Projection is amazing. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, get into this. Uh, after we show the secondary build, because this is also taken into account on your 4, your 4 inherits secondary mods that you're using, uh, I find this build to be the absolute best. Uh, and to very quickly explain why that is, I don't use like the max like elemental damage added like from Prime Heated Charge and stuff, because I want to proc Corrosive. The only thing that Mace's 4 can have trouble with is incredibly high level enemy armor, and if you proc Corrosive a fuckload, that becomes significantly less of an issue. And in fact, means that you are good at taking out everything in the entire game with this build. Uh, but yeah, I'll have a, a video. There's a video that I'm going to be putting out that like goes over proc waiting and like diluting your status pool and things like that. But for now, just understand that the reason I use this is because fuck armor. Uh, so yeah. Uh, other than that, there's a special thing for Mace's passive where if you don't equip a melee weapon, you can get 50 extra HP. Uh, I instead decided to go with a Zaw that has Exodia Epidemic on it for extra crowd control if I were to need it. Uh, and outside of that, uh, in addition to having this build on your secondary, you also want it to be a secondary that fucks up nullifiers. The Synoid Gamma Core is incredibly good at that. Uh, and also, as an added bonus, the Synoid Gamma Core has a proc that gives you energy. So this is kind of the perfect secondary for Mesa. 
So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much everything that we need to go over. Now, let's do some, like, hard super murder on these enemies. Because I know they're level 150, but it, it won't really seem like it. Because Mace's damage is uh, very high. Like, really, really very high. Like, if you can see the enemy, they're going to have a rough go of it. Oh, they fell off the edge. That's unfortunate. Well, they'll, they'll spawn back up here in a moment, I'm sure. But yeah, if you can see the enemy, they're going to have a rough time. Like, no matter what level they are, it's going to be pretty rough. And this ability has a 50 meter range. And it's... It's some, it's some intense damages. Uh, it's worth noting some kind of like more, let's call it advanced stuff, I guess, uh, is if you bullet jump upwards and then hit four, you can like be moving while in your four and going over like over the heads of enemies. Uh, so that stuff is like pretty important. I think that those bombards died from some slash procs I put on them with my four. Regardless, I think it's pretty easy to see that uh, they will not survive that shit. Uh, but just in case it's not, let's do a more extreme test. Where the HP of the enemy is, is like, somewhat under the consideration of Mesa giving a fuck. So yeah, that'll be fun. But yeah, even if the enemies are like this, uh, your damage is just, it's really high. And like, like I said before, a bunch of corrosive procs, like, man. Listen to it go. Those new sound effects from the deluxe skin are, uh, they're pretty good. They're, they're pretty good. But yeah, if, if you can, if you can see them, they gonna die. And then, of course, my two is helping to, like, jam their weapons and stuff, like, even further. Man, wow, fuck them. Yeah, like, <sighs> Mace, Mace does a lot of damage. I actually don't know. I think that that might just be the end of this video, I think, right? Like, do Need I say more? I don't think so. I think that pretty well explains what Mace is up to. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I will see you tomorrow.